Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today, because of the impact that this issue has on the confidence and mental health of the music community at large, we're taking another look at Stage Fright. That's right, today we're going to cover 10 ways that you can actually combat it and maybe even overcome it. So stick around, and yes, I'm just as nervous as you are. If you missed my first video on this subject, you can check it out here, after you watch this. As mentioned in my previous video, stage fright is a serious ailment that afflicts both major stars and first-timers alike, which leads perfectly into step one of how to fight this confidence killer. Anyone who says they're not a little bit nervous before they go on stage is either a liar or doesn't care. And if they don't care, they should quit. If the moment's not worth caring about, that's a conversation for a different day, and in a future video. LastMinuteMusicians.com says, Expect and accept that you will feel anxious, especially at first. That's okay. If you allow yourself to work with the anxiety, not against it, you'll be able to calm down and proceed. If you resist the anxiety, you'll make more trouble for yourself. In a band or part of a group, Ask around for other people's tips and tricks. You'll be surprised at how different their ideas are. Personally, I start slowly pacing and running over the first verse of the first song of the first set in my mind. I know that if I can get that out on stage, everything else will fall into place. And that's because of step number four. You've probably heard the old adage, practice makes perfect. A better adage might be, practice until you can't get it wrong. If what you're doing is second nature, it's easier to just lose yourself in the moment instead of getting lost in your own thoughts. It's music, guys. It's supposed to move you. Nerves before a show are one thing. Having a complete mental breakdown at the thought of just walking on stage is serious. There's no shame in seeking help, whether psychological or pharmacological. A balanced approach is generally considered best, with drugs helping the immediate issue and counseling dealing with the root problem. Another trick I use when I get nervous is to watch other YouTube videos that make me feel good about myself, whether it's straight up comedy or something science related that makes me feel in awe of just nature and the earth and the universe and my place in it. This step is an extension of step six. The difference is that this time we're focusing on past successes. Nothing builds your confidence better than remembering when everything went right. Call it an ego boost if you want, but personally for me, it's my outtakes video, ironically. It always leaves me with a smile at all the fun I've had so far. Whether it's a music stand to hold sheet music, or index cards with notes, professional musicians and speakers are not above doing whatever it takes to turn in a quality performance. Some even have a plant in the audience to melt the words. Make it a habit to record every performance, good or bad, and then forget it. Don't watch it until at least a week has gone by, and don't watch it alone. Actively listen to what other people's reactions are to it, and make notes for the next time that you perform. Last but not least, sometimes you just can't get out of doing something, and in that case, see all the other steps in this video. But if you need to turn down something for your own mental health, that's okay. Don't be afraid to put yourself first once in a while. The important thing is to keep trying. I believe in you, and I would love to talk to you in the comments section. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that this was helpful in some way. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click here. If you'd like to consider supporting the content you love, please click on the Patreon link or one of the links down below to buy one of my CDs. In the meantime, please, please remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.